therapist, and I'm Brad, physical therapist. I don't know what he's wearing, but anyway, today we're going to talk about... Work. It's my workout hat, Bob. Come on, I'm going to be doing work. i, I got to be in with the times. All right. Uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about the balance board, and uh, we've had some other videos where we talked about ankle instability and chronic ankle sprains, and this is a good thing for that and other things, but uh, one of the things that's going to help train is not, not only help with the strength of the ankle, but it will also help with the joint position sense, and that is, you know, you, you have to know where your ankle is in space when it's, you know, moving. Right. So, so I, I think in other words, you know, if you're an athlete or you're active and you sprained your ankle, this is what you need to do. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is what I do. It's the protocol I use with my patients when they come in and they need to rehab their ankle. Is uh, We use this wobble. I call it the wobble board because it's wobbly. Uh, BAP is what the uh, acronym for it stands for. Uh, what does that stand for again, Bob? We thought balance and proprioception. Balance and proprioception. I guess okay, it. here we go. So this is what I call the five minute drill. Once you get past the acute phase, the swelling's down, you can start to walk around reasonably well, but you're not able to run yet, and you need to get stronger, especially if you're a runner that runs uh, not on smooth pavement, but you're running on cross country, etc. Then you really need this type of strength, okay? So we start out both feet, okay? And here's the drill. The first phase is rocking forward and backwards. Okay, you do that for 30 seconds or up to a minute. Okay, we'll start out here with five seconds or five repetitions just to get through it. And then we go right to left. Okay, so we're working the ankle in both directions, forward, backwards, right to left. We don't stop there. Okay, next we make circles around clockwise. Okay, and then after that, counterclockwise. And then after that, you start with a balancing drill. You see I'm using the chair, I use parallel bars in the gym at work. And then you just try and balance, and you do the best you can without any hands. Okay? If your ankle tolerates that, you take a step up. In other words, you go just to the involved ankle, the sprained ankle, put it in the center. Okay? Now I call this the five minute drill when I get into it. Okay? So for one minute, you go forwards and backwards. Okay? and then right to left. Now when you use one ankle, and you've got a sore ankle, this will hurt if it's not ready. If it does hurt, then you've got to back off and go to two feet again. Okay? Then after two minutes, make circles this way, and then you go circles the other direction after a minute in each one, and then finally balance the best you can for the fifth minute. Okay? Okay, Brad. I'm going to drill. Go ahead, Bob. Well, I was just going to mention on this too, but I don't, I don't know what point you are as far as finishing here, but you can buy these, but you can also make these. Right. As a matter of fact, I made one. You made one, yeah. Right. So, why don't you explain how you made it? Well, I just took a piece of plywood. Okay, I think these cost about $50. I made one for next to nothing. Uh, a decent piece of plywood, half inch, five eighths inch. Um, and for the ball, that's the challenging part. I took an old croquet ball. I cut it in half, you gotta have the right tools for this obviously, and I glued it and screwed it to the top and right in the middle and you got it done. You have to obviously uh, cut a circle out. Now Bob says I've he's seen gonna, Yeah, I've seen it with, with them made with a square, and I've seen them made with a half softball. Sure. So, um, and so, that worked fine too. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's one of those alternatives. Right, and I've had patients who are uh, motivated and want one at home make their own. So uh, absolutely. Did you need this ball, by the way? Oh, yeah. When you get more advanced, yeah, let's say uh, right now I have a basketball player, and we're working. Why don't you stand over there, Bob? You can be out of the camera anyway. That's not that important. I can see you. Okay. Well, I don't have For a higher ball. level balance, okay, we're going to stand down here, and this is for the athlete. You start playing catch with someone else on the ball, and if this is quite aggressive. Like I said, this is only going to be... What are you laughing at, Lindsay? You're having fun. Okay, very good for proprioceptive and balance. If you're high level playing basketball, something like that, that's an advanced uh, technique. Uh, also, you can do this one with one leg. You can dribble. Okay, you can take the basketball, bounce up against the wall if you're by yourself. There's a lot of different techniques for that upper level uh, athlete.